Well, a great 800 final in store. Sarge will be on the inside. Lewandowski of Poland, Simmons of the United States, Suleiman of Djibouti, Solomon of the United States, Aman of Ethiopia, Mohammed of Saudi Arabia, and Boss of France. No David Rudisha, but that means we have an intriguing race, and I think there are a lot of men in this field will think not only can they win a medal, maybe can I win it. Boss, the Frenchman who's had such a great year on the outside. Andrew Asagi will start on the inside. I think he's done really well to make the final. I think he'll be like everybody else. He knows it's going to be hard. We expect Dwayne Solomon, the front-running American, to take it out. We're expecting a fast race, but I'm expecting a close race. I think in the end, they'll all be finishing hard, and this might be the man who they're all chasing down. He's the number one in the world. Beat David Rudisha right at the beginning of the season. Rudisha, of course, missing with a knee injury. 800 final. Nick Simmons of the USA is a fast finisher. The likes of Lewandowski can finish quickly. The 1500 meter man from Djibouti, Suleiman, will be a big danger. Everywhere you look, people with possibilities here, Brendan. An intriguing final. Solomon there to be shot out. He should go in the front. That's what we expect. His coach, Johnny Gray, used to do this, and Solomon is maybe, if anything, better than him in doing it. 23 53. A fast opening 200 metres, and we might have the Olympic champion David Rudisha, the world record holder, missing. But there's Andrew Asagi in the race, and it's great to have you in the race. But we've got the five fastest men in the world this year in the race, and there's the one fastest, Dwayne Solomon. My question is can the Ethiopian big favourite Aman, can he go the rounds? Nick Simmons moving strongly, 50.2, and who's judged this one the right? I think Andrew Asagi has drifted to the foot in that position pretty comfortably and pretty well. 50 point is going to take a little, something out of you. Solomon's going strongly. Simmons is following him. And Amman coming under a little bit of pressure. The other man, Suleiman, moving quickly under the outside. They're all there waiting to strike. Watch for Suleiman. The green figure on the outside. Amman's in the green vest on the inside of Ethiopia. He'll be strong in the long straight. But it's the two Americans. Asagi is coming. He's going to pass Boss. But he's a long way back at the moment. It's USA 1, USA 2. Solomon, Simmons, Amman. Suleiman, then Mohammed on the inside, he's fading, Asagi trying to pick them up, but it's Nick Simmons of the USA striking fast, but here comes Amman, Amman is trying to get there, he's the world number one, Simmons has never won a medal, he'll get it this time, but it's gold to Amman, silver to Simmons, Suleiman takes the bronze, Asagi in fifth place, 143-3, and in the end, he's looked ragged in the heat, he looked tired in the semi-final, he is the world's number one this year, and he is now the world champion. Aman of Ethiopia timed it perfectly and well done Nick Simmons he's been to these championships many times he's never won a medal he, he should be happy with a medal but you know Brendan I think he probably thought he could win it Asagi's done very well he's done brilliantly to get himself into this final and to run well in the final because he's had all sorts of injury problems leading up to this but I suppose in the end in the end all season long, we shouldn't be surprised that it's a man who's come out on top. Well, he was a favourite. Dwayne Solomon, the fastest man in the world this year. Looking strong into the finishing straight. And there goes Nick Simmons. He's making his run for victory. He almost thinks at this point that it is victory. And Aman, the favourite before this race, who had looked poor in the rounds, who had looked poor in the semi-final, comes across the line. And what a glorious victory for Ethiopia. The first time Ethiopia have ever won a dis an event below 5,000 metres in a world-level event. And that is brilliant and a very, very good finish. A great performance by Andrew Asagi in fifth place, 144, and that's the best he's run all season. He judged it right, he ran it right, and I was asking questions about a man because he was struggling through the rounds, he really was. And here he is. I think Nick Simmons thought he had it from here. He looked powerful. Solomon was sadly fading. Asagi was running strongly, and a man. Well, they're great distance runners, these Ethiopians, but this is the first great middle distance runner from Ethiopia. 800 metres has not been their territory, and this man, the strong young man from Ethiopia, he's only 19 years of age, and he's matured very, very quickly.
What a great performance. More celebrations in Mesco Square in Addis Ababa. And really, it would be a great place to be tonight because I'll tell you what, they've got to we'll get a shot with that one because they've never had chances of that event before.